this module today, I am going to talk about airway stents in pulmonary diseases. This is an important area of interventional pulmonology and primarily when we talk about airway stents in pulmonary diseases, we are talking about relieving central airway obstruction due to various causes with the help of airway stents. When we say airway stenting, we normally mean that tracheobronchial stenting is done to provide patency to the airways, to lumen, to increase the lumen of the airway which are narrowed due to extrinsic compression. It can also be done to support weakened cartilages or to seal fistulas or dehiscences. It is a technique which can be usefully employed in the central airways that is the trachea either of the main bronchi or the right intermediate bronchus. Some people have also gone on to stent the, uh, the secondary carina on the left side but that is done only by a very few uh, you know, number. Stenting has been done both in adult and pediatric patients and it is used in benign conditions as a last resort and in malignant conditions for palliation. When you say as a last resort, it means that the option for surgery in that particular case, in a benign case, is not there for various reasons and therefore stenting has to be done. Now, which type of central airway obstruction will benefit from stenting? If you look at it, you may have basically three types of obstruction. On the first, the A type, you can see that it is a purely intrinsic intraluminal obstruction. This is the type where debulking therapies like electrocautery, laser or mechanical coring help. While the B and C type where you have a pure extrinsic compression or the mixed type where there is extrinsic compression due to a mass as well as infiltration of the tracheobronchial.